So most of us think that catching Lahontan cutthroat trout is supposed to look like this. What if I told you that catching giant Lahontan cutthroat trout could also look like this? Trout. This is a trout. Middle of March, Pyramid Lake in the background, 2024. And, you know, Pyramid Lake was put on the map about 15, 20 years ago or so with the introduction of uh, the second strain of uh, Lahontan cutthroat trout uh, called the Pilot Peak strain. And the Pilot Peak strain gets uh, way bigger than the Summit strain. And as these fish were introduced into the lake in 2006, and a few years went by and, uh, you know, start catching these giant fish, you know, Pyramid became relevant. But for 30 plus years, Pyramid Lake has been known for the crazy place, high desert, huge lake near Reno, Nevada where people come to stand on a ladder to catch fish. Living near Pyramid and you know working here as a guide for over 20 years, I can tell you that I have spent a lot of time hauling ladders around, standing on ladders, catching fish, and I think at one time I owned more ladders than any painter in Reno. But what most pyramid anglers don't realize is along with this second strain of Lahontan cutthroat trout that was put in the lake um, came a, a second species that acts differently than, than the, the original strain that was put in in the 1950s. I've made it kind of a mission over the last 10 years or so to, to spend some time trying to figure out how the Pilot Peak strain of Lahontan cutthroat trout acts and um, you know what their patterns and their habits are because they're not the same as the Summit strain that you know we've been fishing for since the 1950s. What I found was that th there's times of the year that we kind of gave up on Pyramid Lake um, back in the old days with the Summit strain because they would disappear on us when the water got warm. The Pilot Peak strain, however, is a more voracious fish. They grow faster and they eat a lot more minnows. It just so happens that the minnows spend a lot of time 
around the edge of the lake in warmer weather. As I get older, I have found that I, I really like shorts and sandals with my fishing. Over the last bunch of years, I have spent a lot of time out here at Pyramid in October and June chasing these Pilot Peak strain of Lahontan cutthroat trout. And we've come up with some techniques and we've been very successful. And it has broadened our season out here. So where we used to only, you know, be really busy working and fishing and guiding at Pyramid in March and April, you know, we have the opportunity now to show anglers a completely different lake at a completely different time of year, new ways of catching these fish, different techniques, and it is so much fun. It's amazing how many people out here miss this time of year fishing at Pyramid. This is absolutely the best time to fish at this lake all season. The fish are huge, they fight crazy. Yeah. The average size fish this time of year is like 10 pounds. So, you know, as, as I got experienced at Pyramid Lake, um, you know, it's always been fishing on a ladder. You know, my very first one was a fiberglass step ladder. And working at the fly shop here in town for a long time, people would come in and go, well, what about flow tubes? And, and really, we spent years talking people out of it. And, you know, one, because it really there was no advantage to it, almost a disadvantage uh, when the fish were in close, you know, back 15 years ago or so. Um, and two, you know, technology wasn't that great back then. You know, float tubes were these little round things and you had to kick and, and uh, you know, more dangerous. Um, and, you know, with us fishing now in October and June um, a lot out here, you know, with the surface temperatures warm and the fish a little deeper, it's, it's become important to fish, you know, from the water. And we now spend a lot more time uh, fishing from pontoon boats and float tubes, you know, and technology and has gotten a lot better with these things. Um, you know, we use Outcast, who is the leader in, you know, float tube and pontoon boat technology for, for you know, fly fishermen anyway. Um, you know, we have frameless pontoon boats that you can, you can row, you can kick, you know, you can put an anchor down, you have rod holders, you know, they're, they're really nice. Um, and it's changed the game out here for us and allowed us to target these fish, you know, at a completely different time of year. You, you know, this season, last October when it opened, uh, I spent 12 days um, out here having fun catching these fish. And it, it, was, it was crazy. We uh, had an outing that was a ton of fun. We had people fishing with us for four or five days. Uh, we introduced our Pyramid Lake Beach Experience um, trailers and campers. Uh, we had you know, some of our friends stay in them for the first time. That was a lot of fun. And the fishing was fantastic in October. And you know, ever since then, knowing that going into late season when the water warms back up in June, it's gonna look a lot like that you know, going forward. It's, you know, we're only a couple months away from, from that time of year again. You know, just the weather, hanging out on the beach with our friends, you know, eating, fishing, and we caught a lot of big fish in October. It was, it was awesome. You know, Pyramid has kind of a weird season. It, it opens October 1st and closes June 30th. And it's closed the summer months, July, August, and September, because of the warm water, you know, to protect the fish. Um, but last year, last June, we fished right up until the close of the season, you know, on June 30th. And, you know, the last three days of the season last year were some of the best fishing we had all year. <laughs> We have about another month of, of ladder fishing, you know, this year. And then um, our, our tradition is in May to go out to Eastern Nevada and break out our float tubes for the first time, pump them up and catch a bunch of giant rainbows 
um, out there. And as soon as we come back from that, we spend a month, you know, in June out here uh, to close the season at Pyramid Lake. So we'll be out here this June. Uh, this is, you know, personal invitation from, from me, Rob, uh, to anyone that wants to learn a different Pyramid Lake in warmer weather. Our guides are, are ready to show you the ropes. And, you know, we're hosting at least one outing on June 8th and 9th coming up and we'll be out here till the end of the season and we hope to see you on the water.